Hi, moms and dads. Today, Parental Alienation Survival Coach speaks to you uh, fresh from a funeral. And I'm basically in my car and on my way into the repast with the family. So in keeping with the theme of triggers, this is my second video for everyone on the topic of triggers. Funerals can be one of those triggers that, um, you know, may bring up some unexpected feelings. Um, overall, the one feeling that I'm going to talk about is life is short. And that might be something that you think about when you go to a funeral. And how important it is to not let it be a trigger of sad memories, but try to make it be a trigger to remind you to do everything you can to live a happy and blessed and productive life. And those are the kind of things that we help you with as coaches. Um, you know, despite our big open wound. My mother had a huge open wound on her leg from a surgery and the chemical radiation treatment that she had following the surgery to remove a small but cancerous tumor, it destroyed all the blood vessels in the uh, outer layers of her skin and therefore this wound could not close and you could see you know right into the muscles of her leg and if she wiggled her toes or twisted her ankle you could see those muscles moving in the back of her calf because it was a huge open wound and she went through several um, procedures a wound vac and um, they tr attempted some skin grafting and nothing worked and you know she's she was uh, 80 years old when that happened and uh, the month before her surgery, she had been to Washington, D.C. to march uh, for a cause that she believed in, the right to life. So she was a very active 80-year-old. Um, the wound never healed, and uh, she lived out the rest of her life with this huge wound on her leg. And I used to take her to all these doctor visits, and they tried to close it, tried to close it, tried to close it. It would never close. So finally... The uh, plastic surgeon said the best treatment for this really is constant, every single day, clean dressing, uh, rinsing with water, and applying a, a cream, nothing special, uh, not even a burn cream, just some uh, uh, ointment. And uh, that's what she did every single day. And, you know, that could really stop an older person and make them not want to live life and, you know, just curl up into a ball with this big, huge open wound. But when you, if you met her, you would never know she had this because she didn't let it stop her. She continued to go for walks. I used to take her down to the beach. And, uh, you know, although she couldn't walk in the sand, you know, we took trips to the ocean and she would walk along the boardwalk. And she went out to lunch with her friends and she went to a senior center and she never let that open wound stop her But it had to be addressed every single day someone uh, a nurse had to come in clean it change her dressing when we went on vacation I would uh, go along uh, with her just to take care of her leg for her So she lived the rest of her life with a big open wound We all have a big huge open wound and life is short. We can't let that big open wound drive our entire identity right so we have uh, pain we have a lot of pain but we can you know do what we can to heal the pain to take care of it to acknowledge it just like my mother had to dress that wound every day but we have to go on living and we have to go on living uh, life in the best possible happy way we can because life is short right so um you know, if a funeral is a trigger of sad memories, also let it be a trigger to remind you that life is short and therefore you have to get yourself together and live a happy, positive, productive, forward-moving life despite the big, huge, open wound that really probably is only truly, truly healed if the children come back. And like my mother, you know, she died with that open wound. Uh, it did get smaller and smaller. I did want to say that over time, it did get smaller and smaller. It began to heal, you know, kind of from the inside out. The skin never closed, but the, the uh, tissue did begin to heal. So that's what's happening with us, you know, as we go through life with big, huge open wounds. Um, they do start to heal little by little. And although they may never heal completely, if the relationships with our children are not restored, um, we can still go on to live a happy, healthy, productive life. And if the relationship with the children is restored, then we have a great 
happy, productive life to introduce them to and to bring them into, right? You don't want to be a big, huge emotional mess for the rest of your life. So the trigger we're talked about today is funerals and how they can be triggers of sadness, but try to let them be triggers to, to uh, living a happy, healthy, productive life. Okay, everybody, those are my words for today.